Okay, fantastic. You have just purchased inline sib to work with your existing equipment. And it uh, comes in the box. There will be directions in the box. Of course, you can go to the website and get, any more, get, get more directions. It will come with a, with a hopper adapter. All you need to do is drill a couple holes in the top of your, top of your hopper lid, which I've already done. Remove the adhesive tape from the back. Drop it into your hopper. Make sure that it's pressed down. Make sure it's clean. And from that point, drop in the inline sieve to the adjustable collar. From there, it's adjustable up and down, whatever height you need to go for your hopper. Okay, our inline sieve pump functions obviously different than everybody else on the market. Number one, we're pulling our material through a screen. We're conditioning it. Number two, our pump is not utilizing all the atomizing air to feed powder through the hose. We're using atomizing air to clean the screen. And number three, at most gun settings, you're going to see a higher density, lower velocity cloud coming through our pump. And all of these things result in better transfer efficiency, better quality, and better application characteristics. Now, if you're running a Norton pump, our pump comes keyed to match your existing quick disconnects. All you need to do is unsnap from your Norton pumps, attached to our inline sieve pump, and you're ready to go. Okay, now we're going to talk about why our pump has a higher density powder cloud. Typically, at most of the average settings, all this atomizing air is coming through your paint, through your hose, which is simply air. This is the only one used for powder. With our system, our atomizing air is helping to assist the powder through the system. So we are achieving actual powder from this line, not just air. So we're going to go through a little bit of uh, how the gun settings should be set up to work with our inline sieve system. They're going to work almost identical to what you're used to um, with one little trick we're going to train you on. Okay, a normal, a normal good low setting for getting inside corners and boxes and just uh, uh, finessing would be a, would be a 2.5 total air with 35% powder. And a good all-around setting is probably going to be, your average setting is going to be around a 4.0 to 4.5. A good high setting on this Nordson gun is going to be 4.0 on total air and 70% powder. All right, so with the Nordson gun and inline sieve combination, we're guaranteeing operations at 70 and below on your powder settings. Let's face it, more than 70% is simply just wasting powder. 